we have Charles Darnell. Charles' poem appears across from where April transitions into May, the week of uh, May 1st, April 28th. He's got a new chapbook out from Finishing Line Press. He's a sun poet, and looking forward to hearing Too Long for a Hallmark Car. Come on up. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Cindy. Thank you for selecting that poem. It was a surprise. <laughs> Too long for a Hallmark card. On the Isle of Skye, in the Hebrides, they say Lucifer was cast from heaven, May the 3rd. On this day each year, a crime committed can never be forgiven. My dear, you will bear this guilty burden for the rest of our days. You, the thief of my heart, and I, the willing victim. <laughs> and uh, with the Christmas season upon us, I thought I'd read this poem. Uh, it's one of a, a series of poems that I'm assembling as a manuscript. It's uh, poems about biblical stories, mainly from a secular standpoint. The Magi. Ah, my friend, come, sit. It has been a long while. No, no, it is just me now. Melchior left us soon after, worn out by the journey. Balthazar gone, just this year. Yes, we kept in touch. Who wouldn't? Yet it has been many years since we last heard anything about that boy in the barn. Maybe Herod found him after all, despite our precautions. We were so sure, the star guiding us straight to him. All seemed correct and inevitable. But we returned with a sense of uncertainty, uncomfort, uncomfortable with the shifting of our time. Does the boy yet live? He is near a man now, if he does. Maybe a carpenter like his father, perhaps a fisherman. Will he be king? Stranger things happen, I know, though this child troubled me, a messiah in rags. I see him still lying in the feed trough. Surely a king would be born in more auspicious surroundings. They called us wise, but I cannot see through this. My aged mind asks, could we have been wrong? Were we old fools already? I suppose I shall not know. My time is coming to its end. I am too old for another journey. And no word, no word. <laughs> New point, bladder tension. <laughs> My bladder keeps whispering in the dark. You're getting on. I wake you as my duty to remind you. You still have much to do. I push up slowly, getting bearings, place my feet carefully. Broody sleeps unaware, a hairy lump placed innocently to trip my sleepy, unaware self. Bladder says, don't be in a hurry. Don't dawdle either. I take his meaning. I have time, but not infinity. I do my business thoughtfully, return to bed, but not to sleep. I turn on the lamp and pick up my pen. Thank you.